cruisers come in a wide array of styles and displacements and are designed with a laid back riding position. Appealing to the bad boys in us all, the majority of contemporary cruisers are modelled after the classic American bikes like Harley Davidson's and Indians. A V-twin motor is the typical power plant, most often air-cooled, although that's not always the case. A cruiser rider generally is set into a position with feet forward and hands in a neutral or high position. This makes cruisers a popular choice for casual riding and depending on the model and its options, they can also be suitable for distance riding, spawning a subclass of touring cruisers. The sheer number of available makes and models in the cruiser space can make shopping for a ride in the segment rather daunting. So here's our pick of the best cruiser motorcycles for 2021. The new king of entry-level cruiser class, Indian's Scout Boba 60, offers a lot of performance and a lot of bike for just $9,000. Built around a lightweight cast aluminum frame, Indian's Scout Boba 60 gets a modern fuel-injected liquid-cooled 60 cubic inch engine with blacked-out cases that mate to a 5-speed transmission. The bike also takes a myriad of visual cues from the custom motorcycle scene, such as its charm rear fender, bob seat, dual shotgun pipes and side mounted license plate holder. The non ABS spec base model comes in a murdered out black on black livery. Honda's Rebel has been a go-to model for budding cruiser enthusiasts since the debut of the first generation 250cc model in 1985, and more recently after the release of the current generation Rebel 300 and 500, Big Red has finally released a full-size version of the bike. Powered by the same 1084cc liquid-cooled parallel twin that's found in the Africa Twin, the Rebel 1100 boasts a modern cruiser aesthetic with a neat and a tank, fully exposed frame and a circular LED headlight, a beefy single can pipe and a bobber inspired seat and rear fender. Packing the largest boxer twin ever produced by BMW Motorrad, the R18 is a newly released interpretation of a cruiser, the latest addition to the Bavarian brand's heritage model range, and is visually inspired by BMW's World War II era models, especially the R5 from 1936. Retro-style forks, sweeping fishtail exhaust, and a 30s-inspired bodywork adorned in a black livery with white pinstriping are all clear nods to the R5, though BMW also offers an enormous range of accessories and parts to personalize the R18 and make it your own. The Lowrider S from Harley-Davidson is a modern classic cruiser that's draped in West Coast style with its bikini headlight fairing, flat drag style bars and mid-mounted foot controls. The bike's reduced rake, inverted front and monoshock, rear suspension and ABS and L dual front disc setup collectively give the Lowrider S above average performance in its class. The $18,000 also gets you the latest version of the Harley-Davidson's Milwaukee 814 V-twin engine and your choice of an all-black or crimson paint job. Triumph's Rocket 3 currently holds the honor of being the world's largest displacement production motorcycle with an absolutely enormous 2.5-litton three-cylinder putting down 165 horsepower. The Rocket 3 stop speed may only be in the ballpark of 140 miles per hour, which is still nothing to scuff at. It reaches its stop speed ridiculously fast with 0 to 60 miles per hour time of just 2.73 seconds, making it the quickest production motorcycle currently in existence. And as one would expect from a $22,500 model from Triumph, the Rocket 3 comes loaded with tech, including a built-in navigation system system with turn-by-turn -turn directions from Google, multiple ride modes and the ability to control a GoPro via the handlebar mounted controls. So these are my picks of the best cruisers for 2021. I know there are a lot of other cruisers out there which are equally good or maybe even better. 
let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite pick and why. If you like this video then smash that like button and if you'd like to catch more motorcycle news and content like this, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.